Do you ever wonder what the future looks like and how you fit into overall society as the world is changing so drastically? Well, 71% of respondents in my last poll on LinkedIn said they were interested in talking about smart cities and smart buildings. So that tells me you're interested too. Last week, I hosted my first smart cities discussion on Clubhouse and had a fabulous and thought-provoking conversation. There were some amazing minds on that call in that room. So thank you for your contribution. Now, in this video, I will be giving you a recap of our discussion to give you a view of what our next set of discussions will be, but we're having one tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern time. So if you can't listen to the full video right now, but want to join the conversation, click the link in the comments to get access to the event info. Now, as a recap, we talked about opportunities and concerns around these common themes technology, data-centric design, human-centric design, and transportation. We also looked at how the pandemic is giving us a, basically some different ways to think about everything. Under the topic of technology, some of the opportunities included connecting with IoT and blockchain and other distributed ledger technologies, enabling citizens to digitize any mobile identification cards. We also shared what NFTs are and how it is growing in popularity within the blockchain space. As an FYI, NFT means non-fungible token, and they are digitized assets that represent ownership of virtual and physical items. Another technology we talked about was 3D printing and how we can just print just about anything. Acknowledging the progression of 3D printing, we talked about how it can be used for printing body parts and organs for mock surgeries, just-in-time printing of fashion items or accessories, and 3D printing commercial and residential buildings. So the next topic we covered, or the theme, is data-centric design, and we spoke about including data in just about everything. Tracking data, collecting data to help with not only urban planning, but with health by connecting to mobile devices, IoT devices, um, in buildings and on wearables. Now, obviously data security came up as a concern, but we looked at it as both a concern and an opportunity. Some of us reviewed data security and talked about it being embedded within the data itself instead of solely relying on applications as really the way of the future. In the area of human-centric design, someone mentioned that there are people monetarily benefiting from 20th century innovation and are comfortable with the current existence and therefore inhibiting progress while entering into the 21st century. Following that, it was brought up that densely populated areas have more occupants and are forced to meet the demands of the population and technology, right? Whereas neighborhoods on the outskirts don't have things like economic trade or that same population stress and don't have the same common luxuries or accessibility, which causes disparity to those citizens. Disparity in access to commerce, adoption of technology, internet, and they don't have the same standard of living in ways of just living, learning, working, and playing. So a strong opportunity was in urban development, we discussed how we support and can support aging populations versus millennials versus Gen Z and how they can support each other. In terms of transportation, we talked about some really cool opportunities like drone transportation, where drones can do emergency patient retrieval like an ambulance. Underground transportation surfaced because of the desire to have more green space. Um, High-speed transportation came up to simply cut down on the duration of travel, things that many people are talking about today. Last but not least, at the end, a curious question came up. How are we supposed to pay for this? 
we talked about creating mutual incentivized economic models for the communities involved. Some suggestions were public-private partnerships, using decentralization to allow citizens to lease their personal data on a public marketplace. And then last but not least, tokenization of assets using cryptocurrency, just to name a few. What a riveting discussion. Don't you want to be part of the next set of discussions? We are meeting weekly, Wednesday evenings, to discuss smart cities and go deep on these topics and more. So don't miss the conversation tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern time. We're looking forward to seeing you there.